I am joined by Luke Rockhold, who is your new middleweight champion after defeating Chris Weidman and finishing him in the fourth round. Luke, you're very subdued right now for a guy who just won the belt. What is going through your mind? I don't know. I really don't know. It's hard to take it all in. Been through a lot of coming to get here and just kind of blocked all out and just still had faith that I could do this and pull it off. You believed in yourself, your team believed in you, and you achieved your dreams. That belt is around your waist. Talk to me about the fight. Obviously, third round, a lot of people really, really thinking that was going to be stopped. Was that a thought in your mind, Herb, when are you going to step in, or were you even cognizant of what was happening? That Was that the third round? Yeah. <laughs> I lost track. That was the answer there, I guess. <laughs> I thought he was going to stop it. I was surprised he didn't stop it. And I wasn't sure if he did stop it or the round ended, and, you know, I was like, what? What's coming back, and then Chris being the man he is, champion he is, he came back in the fourth round and wanted it. I knew I had a big advantage once I hit the ground. I just have a, a different level of understanding of mat awareness. And uh, I just, you know, I knew if I could get it there, I could really control the situation. And I was just like, I was exhausted. The staff, I had this cellulitis in my foot the last two weeks. I've been trying to get off the antibiotics, and it kept coming back, and I would get back on antibiotics, and I just stopped taking it today, trying to. Trying to think if it wouldn't affect me, you know, it's like my foot started blowing up last night. So I, I took some antibiotics last night and then today I cut it off and I just said, F it. You know, I mean, I gotta go win this fight relatively early because I knew it would affect me. It worked so, out for know, you. I just sucked it up. You said inside the Octagon that you were a little bit disappointed that your cardio started to fade. Um, do you believe that was because of how the first round went down with so much wrestling and grappling? Uh, you know, I think it had a lot to do with. I think that, no, I mean, it really was, I think it was the antibiotics and the stat and the uh, cellulitis in my foot. You could feel it affect me and then I, I also hurt my knee so I've been on anti-inflammatories pretty bad. It's been, it's been, it's, like last week I could barely walk from the, like, trying to just bounce back and forth between injuries and this whole camp has been, it's been hell. But you've never doubted yourself. Again, you achieved this dream. Um, talk to me about the first round. Were you ever in fear? Did you ever feel like you were in danger? No. And now that you have the belt, what is next for Luke Rockhold? I know it's hard to even take in that this happened, but where do you go from here? Do you want time off? Do you want to fight right away? Do you know who you want to fight? I mean, what are all these things that are going through your mind now that this has become a reality for you? My body is calling for a little time off. I don't know. I mean, I'm not very impressed with what's going on right now. And, you know, the only thing I can think about is Vitor Belfort on a silver platter. Give him to me, Dana. I want to eat that little mother alive. Well, you heard him. He is the champ, and he's calling for his next opponent. Congratulations, Luke.